So let's have a look at question 2C of the 2022 National 5. So let's now look at question 2C of the 2022 National 5 Admin and IT paper. We'll see here that we've got some information below that we now have some handicaps from the golfers, which we have to update the database table with. If we don't have players with a handicap, if it's still unknown, we have to delete these records. And then we've got to print alphabetically by start time and then by surname. So let's have a look at the table. So here we are in the players table and we're going to have to make some changes in the handicap column. I think actually just to save time, I'm going to sort the players at the moment alphabetically just so I can see it easier because I can see there that Ho Barnard up at the top here was unknown and let's change that to three. And then Guzman change to 15. We have Barker and that has changed to six. And then Ward there um, is 19. And the other part of the instruction was to delete any records where there's still a not, not known handicap, so unknown. So here is this row here. I'm just deleting, I'm right clicking to delete the record. It's just prompting me, beep, yes, I do want to delete one record. And then down to the second one there and let's delete the record. So we've made these changes and now we have to sort the information. So if we're trying to sort the table and we know we have to sort it by start time first. So I can go in here to start time and do it. Well, oldest to newest will be earliest to latest. That's fine. But I also want to sort by time and then by surname. So if I now go back and try and change alphabetically by surname, the start times are incorrect. So unfortunately, we can't just sort on the table and print it off. We're going to have to create another query to enable us to get everything in the right order. Because you'll see here, start, start time is at the far right hand side, but surname is to the left of that. If we want to sort in order, we'll have to sort by start time, then by surname, then have the rest of the information. So let me show you how to do that. Let's just go and create and we'll do a query design. And what I'm going to do is we are going to use just the players table. That's all we need for this one. All right, so let's click on the start time first of all. And we want to sort that earliest to latest. So it's going to be ascending. And then we're going to sort by surname. Double click on that. And then we're going to sort again ascending. Now, if I was to have a look at that right now, just to double check, I can see that we've got the start time there and then the surname. So everything is fine. It's done it the way we want it to be. However, we're thinking about printing this, this query off, printing this table off. So let's think about what could we do to print it the way it's been asked for. So remember, we're having to print showing the player's name and golf handicap fields, but it has to be sorted by start time and then alphabetically by surname. So back to this query. So although I've sorted it in the correct order, you see how there's a wee tick here to show it. I don't want it to show. So I'm going to take the ticks off, but I do want to show the title, the first name, the last name, and the handicap. So the first two have unticked, so when we run it, we're not going to see it, but we are going to see the title, first name, surname, and handicap. So let's just check that. So there we have the information that is required, sorted, sort of behind the scenes almost, sorted by start time, and then surname. So that is how we would do question 2C. We could then go to file and then print. Let's do a print preview. And that is how we could do that. Obviously we could make a change to the, the title there, but that's all the information you need in the correct order.